Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video training, I want to go over an item within the tools called the Power Meter. Now this is for any and all of you guys that are subscribing at the Complete Trader level. At the Complete Trader level, you all have access to the Money Calendar. So within the Money Calendar, as I click on it to bring it up, you're going to find the Power Meter information. Find a date that you want to do your analysis on. I'm just picking the 14th because I have a couple of examples to show you from that date. And the first thing you're going to want to do is find the power meter column and double left click on the heading. This sorts your list from the highest power meter number to the lowest. We're looking for positive power meters. We're only looking for positive power meters. So any negative number disregard. Now the power meter is not a gauge for price moves. Uh, in a sense of we're not looking for a directional bias from the power meter. Just because it's positive doesn't mean it's for a bullish or upward expected move. Meaning if it's a negative number, it's not for a bearish or expected downward move. Positive power meter just means that it has more recent price moves in the more recent years that are greater than the cumulative 10 years. And that's what we're looking for. This is not an assessment for directional bias. Power meter is simply a gauge as to whether or not the price moves in the more recent years are higher or getting higher than they have been in the cumulative 10 years overall. Let's show you an example. Money calendar. Um, this page has a ZO. You see that it's a green bullish move and that's fine. Power meter doesn't factor in any directional bias. What we're looking at here though is the yearly trade results and it's these price moves that we're analyzing. We want to see in the more recent years higher price move amounts and if they're getting higher that's even better that shows that there's price move momentum each of these recent years and they're getting higher or they're moving higher and we want to key in on that positive momentum and you can see that they're higher compared to the cumulative 10 years overall and especially the last you know three four or five years all right compare that to this power meter gauge on Honeywell it's still a bullish opportunity in the sense that it shows a green uh, tendency to move higher. We are looking at the power meter though and look at the more recent years here. These are waning in price move value and in fact our first loss happened last year. So the more recent price moves are less than and getting in a more decreasing manner than they have in the cumulative 10 years overall. So there's a comparison. We want higher price moves in the more recent years compared to the cumulative overall rather than have a declining or really weak price move numbers here in the more recent years compared to the 10 overall. Now what we're looking for on these power meter numbers is a positive power meter number. We don't care or it's not showing us whether it's a bullish or bearish move. But now you're saying well here's a red or a stock or ETF that's going to go down in price. How is that a positive power meter? How are these profits uh, analyzed? Well, what we're looking at with a bearish move is uh, a stock or ETF that's moving down in price and the profits based on the uh, assessment that it's for a short sale. So if you were to short XBY, XBI, it goes down in price and you can buy at a lower price to cover, you're going to make your money. So let's take an example of a stock at $40. If you sold it short at 40 and it goes down to 35, you buy it back to cover at 35, you got a $5 profit. So that's how profits are assessed for a bearish candidate here. And are those profits getting higher in the more recent years than the lower years? No, they're not. So we won't bother with that. If we, if we, if we want to uh, assess direction, um, you just let the color coding give you that indication. Red for bearish, green for bullish. And you don't need to look for any other technical indicators because uh, Money Calendar is not based off any technical criteria. It's simply based off price moves over specific periods of time. And we don't like power meters that are negative numbers and we want them to be positive numbers and the higher positive number the better. Hope that helped you out. If you have any further questions on this, email us at support at tomgentile.com or hit us up at the Traders Forum on your forums, and we'll talk to you then. Bye for now.